nature, go closer to the nature by connecting with the nature and appreciating it. This out, folk. Look at this wall. Yes, folk, come to a beautiful place called Mount Fuji's Lake. And most importantly, as you look around here, there is no one. There's only one, Shiran the Joker, <laughs> hidden amongst all this hay. Yes, look at what you have in front of you. The view that is breathtaking and refreshing. Yes, no one about. I'm not joking. Look at this. It's true. It is true and true. Nobody here. Wow, look at the couple. How beautiful is that? They're going for a walk early in the morning. What do you think about this? What are you looking at? What is this? Little snowy cap peak you're looking at. Where I have managed to do 13 times up and down from Kawaguchiko to all the other little townships. Come with Sharan if you want to see Japan or any part of the world. I'll take you through the back where the home, where the locals live, where the locals eat, where the locals enjoy life closest to the nature. And the mother nature has proven that we people are failing to recognize the importance every single day let me switch the car off oh okay finish I'm in uh, Mount Fuji, um, a Lake Lako, Nako, Lako. I think it's um, uh, close to Mount Fuji, and I met this beautiful family from Thailand, uh, and a country that I've traveled extensively, and uh, beautiful people. And I spent three months in a temple uh, uh, nice. in uh, Bangkok, as well as Chiang Mai and Chiang Rai. <laughs> yes, <laughs> are you there? And Sukhothai, uh, uh, all those places. Yeah, okay. lovely. Thank you very nice much. Nice to meet you. My Thank name you. is Sam. Sam, I'm Sharan. Sharan, Sharan. Okay. Thank you. Love to see you <laughs> soon in the world. Sure, uh. we'll see you soon. They <laughs> cover Guchiko. Yes, folk. The village of Kava Guchiko just over there. And as you can see on the slopes of Mount Fuji, the cherry patches. And spread across Mount Fuji at the background, Shuran at the edge of the shoreline with the nature and wildlife to really live for. 
but of course the people have made the nature almost disappear what is appeared and appearing is that live mountain of Mount Fuji a sacred and hence it's sacred it's been protected otherwise there will be many experiments done on that to try and destroy what is left of I hope we don't do this and continue to do this instead bring into life our real life and connect with our nature and replenish what we have extracted from our nature by giving it back to the nature and growing the amazing life it has given us it is time for us to give it back to the world and to the nature folk please come travel with me or at least travel by yourself and learn to connect and to protect and preserve the world and I've come to a section where it's all resorts here overlooking Mount Fuji and Mount Fuji is going to be scared the amount of tourists here anyway that's normal for anywhere whatever is famous and popular people will be about and it's not for me